Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and this is Learn Onyx where we teach you how to get the most out of Onyx and today we're going to do that by talking about DMX input. So if you're not aware on any Onyx console or PC you're able to uh, turn on DMX input and there's actually a few options for it. And I think it's one of the more underutilized functions uh, that people have with consoles. Just think about this for a second, um, and then we'll unpack it and show you technically, um, as I didn't rehearse this, but I know where it is in the menu, uh, how this works. Say you have a little console with faders. I kind of like these Alation STC-12s um, just because um, they're really simple. They allow you to have different DMX start addresses if, if you so desire. Um, and they also allow you to run off battery or power. And it's just one power switch. It's on. It's at the DMX address. Everything's good. A lot of other the controllers kind of have really... I mean, these have cheap faders, but they're a little longer. Sometimes they're, they're really short. Sometimes you have to press like a button in order to get it started working when it powers on um, and outputting DMX. I like this one because it's simple. Okay, um, then I've gathered for myself a three pin. Um, actually, it's a, I guess it's a five to three technically, but I, I've grabbed a male to male adapter cable um, because I'm going to be coming out of an output port on this SDC 12. Okay, I'll use the three pin, but it could be a five pin male to male. Um, and then I'm going into uh, let's just go into DMX2 here on this NX1. Okay, so now I've got that set up. I'm sending DMX input here into Onyx. Okay, now how do we set it up? Well, it's pretty simple. So we'll go here and we'll show you all the options here. Is that crooked? It might be. It doesn't matter. So go in here to the main menu. And then we want to go to DMX in. It's got its own option. Basically, the way DMX in works inside of Onyx and the way to configure it is it has these virtual ports and that just allows you to basically set up a mapping, set up like the rules that you have for a given DMX input, and then you can switch it later to be coming from a different input source if you need to. Okay, so you could start with it being a physical input and move it to an SACN input if you need it to. So we'll go there, we'll activate our first virtual port. We're going to do source um, internal, internal US or DMX port of the console. We're in two, double check that. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to go and start moving these faders. And what we should see here is some DMX happening. And of course we don't, which gives me lots of warm fuzzies. So I'm going to go quick and see if I actually plugged it in right. I have it, or I have. But I did miss one step, and that is, we'll go back in a second, that step is setting the port up, in this case, um, with any uh, console DMX port or Artnet or SACN. We actually have to set the port as input, because DMX ports are not bidirectional. So, apologies for that, DMX port 2, set as an input. Oops. Uh, notice when my studio lights all just flashed. Um, it's interesting on the consoles when you do get into this mode your internal ports do shut off when you're making adjustments um, So we'll go back here everything will come back, uh, but that's key to know So now back to the virtual ports page Now it says signal lost Maybe I should have rehearsed this Just one second do, 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 do. Okay, so it turns out I needed to reboot the console not totally sure why if you always have to do that when setting up an input, honestly, I don't do it that often. Maybe you do. Maybe it's a bug. Who knows? But now, on my screen here, on my input, I've set basically my uh, DMX settings that my port 2 is universe 2 input. And then on my DMX in page, it's on port 2, DMX port 2. I can see here. When I move the faders up and down, you can probably see them coming up and down on the screen. You switch the view, you can see the values. I did have to take the SDC, by the way, 12, set the DMX patch to 1 on the dip switch. 1 is the only dip switch up for 1, and then we're good to go. Now let's talk about the mapping options. This is where things get exciting. So, you basically have 
the option to first do a DMX merger. This is if you're merging DMX in. So if you've got like another console, like a house console or a touring console that you're mer that you're sending through your Onyx console and then to the lighting rig, that's what mergers are for. That's not what we're covering here. And then we've got mapping and we've got playback control. Okay, so these two are a little bit different. Um, the playback control one is actually really interesting. I don't use it a lot, but if you go to the Onyx manual at support.obsidiancontrol.com, Dot com, dot net. You'll find it. Um, it basically lays out like each one of these channels, like the first like 80% or something is like the, the intensity. And then there's like a part of the channel. If you go up there, it makes it go. So it's kind of cool because you could use an old fader board console and like be able to make cues go and get an intensity level. Um, that being said, I haven't used that much. What I use the most when I do this is the mapping page. Okay. So activate or deactivate the DMX layout on this port. That's the first thing to hit. Um, and then you just go in here and you hit the DMX layout and you can now control a fixture master uh, for individual fixtures. So I can go, for example, of course I got a bunch of stuff in here and say I grab these pars here. Okay. And so now you see that I've got a, a master control on these pars. Now it's a uh, submaster, I believe, if you can see here. So like these pars, I'm bringing them up and down, but um, only in a positive way. It's not an inhibited, right? So if I like pull out my faders on the console and then I push this up, the cue's still playing. I have submaster control. Okay, that's kind of cool. What about the other options? Um, so that's one option, but we can also go Say I go to DMX2 and you get you get all 512 DMX out of here, which is amazing. So you could start stacking up these STC12s. We'll talk about uh, some of the downfalls of this option, some of the weaknesses, um, though it's the cheapest way to add faders to your Onyx system. Um, but there are some weaknesses to it. So say I go here now to queue lists. Okay. Any of my queue lists here, I can now set to the faders. So say I'm on fader two and I want to do, I think it's this one called show. Yep. So that's the one controlling these lights right here behind me. And we can see if I set the fader to it, that now you can probably see the fader on the NX one moves up and down, uh, as I move this one on the STC 12. Okay. Um, so the basic, the really cool thing about this is it doesn't have to be fader for fader, but you're actually pairing cue lists to faders on this STC 12. Now here's the weakness of it. Okay. Um, I would, if I, if you're attaching faders or cue lists from your console to an external DMX source, um, there's one kind of big downfall to it. And that is it's one way communication coming into the console, right? from the DMX source. And so because it's one way communication, for example, this one controls my fader seven. If I pull that down, okay, now I've pulled it down for this portion of my show. But if I pull it down in Onyx, whether I'm pulling that light down in that cue list or another, and then I just jiggle this one, even just to bring it down a little, you saw the value jumped, the fader jumped to that new level. Similarly, you can have, say you've got something going on here that is a cue list, right? Or any type of cue list. It could be an inhibitive, it could be anything, and it gets released, okay? If you release it from somewhere else, this fader still stays up, right? Because it's a, it's a one-way deal, right? The DMX is just coming in. So this can be a really great way to add more faders for like free or really cheap to your Onyx system. You just need to be careful what you use it for in a show situation so that you don't accidentally, you know, move a fader and see something go jump. What kind of things do I like to use them for? They're great for hazers. Uh, pretty much you just go, okay, what is something that I'm going to control that I'm not going to release with another cue list that I'm not going to use anywhere else. So I like to use them for like inhibitives, control of different levels, etc., where it's something that I'm programming onto the faders of my DMX input controller, but I'm not 
overriding it with control from somewhere else. And so if you think about the box a little, if you kind of get outside of things a little, it can be a really great way to get some DMX into Onyx to get, you know, like this SDC-12 is six extra faders in two banks technically, um, where you can have six faders plus a master. You can actually start to kind of go old school if you remember um, some old school consoles and Avolite still has it, but they had these scene faders, which were kind of cool, where you have these different cue lists, right? You've got these six cue lists that you've attached to these faders, and you can adjust their levels, you know, at will, do whatever you want, but then you can bring all of them down together with a master control. And that's effectively what you're doing here, just through the DMX input, right? So if you guys have enjoyed this, if you've got something out of this, hey, Think about the SDC-12s. If you need one, hit up Orange Stage Lighting Gear. We'd love to help. Um, and if you need anything else in lighting and you're in the U.S., head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear. And if you want to learn more about Onyx, you want our step-by-step -step guide, such as Onyx for the Complete Newbie and Onyx Advanced. Between these two courses, we literally have everything in Onyx documented, I'm pretty sure, through video, kept up to date. If that sounds exciting to you, check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. We'll have that linked as well. Until next time, thanks for watching and thanks for choosing us as your Onyx and Lighting dealer. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.